I'm gonna take you through a nice little five minute mobility, focusing on our big three stretches for the lower body for any running athlete. This is gonna warm you up in no time. If you're lifting as well, I think it's still a great little stretch routine. So we'll start off with our big groiner. We're gonna elevate everything, just have a little bit more freedom and ability to kind of explore. So I'm gonna get my stomach or chest right on my thigh. I'm just gonna kind of do a little more of a knee and ankle rock there, pushing back a little bit. Gliding forward, getting that knee as far over the foot as I can. Just trying to get a lot of blood in those lower extremities. From here as well, I can add a little bit of a twist and explore. A normal grinder. Yeah, just a little nicer to uh, have a little more degrees of freedom there. And when that feels spent, you can switch to the other side. Greasing. Be mindful of how it feels left to right, very different responsibilities through the day, each leg. So I always feel a little junkier on my left here. No problem. No self-judgment, just self-awareness, right? Knee over the toe. And then from there, we're just gonna pop up into our elevated pigeon. So you wanna try and get the shin flush to the bench, okay? And drop into it from there. Really exploring again, looking for those sweet spots. Maybe I drop a level or drop my shoulder into position to feel that nice big stretch there in the hip. We're looking for the outer part of the, the hip here, the glute, the side butt. Dropping that trail knee, whatever allows you to feel the most productive stretch, most productive tension. Okay, if that's a little aggressive for you, what you can do though is just pop the bench up a notch, and that angle will give you a little bit of advantage at your hip, and then you can get the shin nice and flush to it, like we're talking about, and still drop into it there. Very productive stretch position still. Maybe even feels a little better for me on this left leg as it's a little more limited. So, play to the ability of each side. Just looking for a couple extra degrees of freedom. Making sure to breathe and relax into those stretch positions. You definitely don't want to feel pain at the knee on this one. Keep it all upstream at the hip. Alright, when that one feels good, what we can do is flip. Just lower that back down. Flip over, like having the knee on a mat here, so you can really feel it. I'm just gonna go into our elevated hip flexor stretch. So I'm gonna put my foot down, I'm gonna drive my pelvis forward. And this one's not all about leaning back, it's feeling the stretch in the right place. So anchoring down through the hip flexor, squeezing the glutes into hip extension, and feeling that stretch either predominantly through the quad or through the hip, kind of wherever it is screaming to you the most. But again, we can keep it a little more dynamic, kind of pulse it in and out, relax the tension, squeeze, engage, push a little deeper into it. Push up. nervous system responds pretty quick. Now well, that feels like it's pretty maxed out, you can flip to that other side. Be mindful left to right, no problem if it feels a little different. So again, I just don't want to be in an arch in my back here. I don't want all that stretch to go to my spine. I really want to tuck the tail, tuck the pelvis. Ooh, puts me in a much greater stretch here, much better position to be in. Actually getting most of the blood and tension in the right areas. Definitely feel welcome to explore those positions a little more. Those are the big three, the elevated groiner, the pigeon, and the rear foot elevated hip flexor stretch.